Number 18, find the requested function value. So they tell us to find g of f of 9 when f of x equals negative 3x plus 2 and g of x equals negative 7x squared minus 8x minus 9. So this is a composite function. This notation here, which we read g of f, tells us that we're going to take the function f and plug it into the function g. All right, so we take the second function and plug it into the first function. So that means if we're taking f and plugging it into g, we're going to take this whole f function and plug it into g anywhere we see an x. So we're plugging f into g in two separate places. All right, so let's evaluate and see what this looks like. So we're going to have negative 7x squared, but remember we're taking out the x and instead putting in this whole f function. So we have negative 7, take out the x, put in negative 3x plus 2, and then squared, minus 8x, but again we're taking out the x, putting in the f function, so minus 8 and plug in the f function and minus 9. All right, so now we've got to clean this up. We've got to simplify this. And first and foremost, let's go ahead and evaluate what happens to this binomial when we square it. And recall, when we square a binomial, we have to write it out twice and FOIL, right? So this is minus 3x plus 2 times minus 3x plus 2. All right, so if we're gonna FOIL, well, we know we do our first to our first, and then to the last, and then we do our inners, and then the outers. All right, so negative 3x times negative 3x is positive 9x squared. Negative 3x times positive 2 is minus 6x. Positive 2 times negative 3x is, again, minus 6x. Positive 2 times positive 2 is a positive 4 and if we combine our like terms here we're going to end up with 9x squared minus 12x plus 4. All right so that's what we get when we uh, foil this binomial. So now I'm going to go ahead and so we don't run out of room because these do tend to be uh, work intensive so you're going to need a lot of room on your paper. All right so we end up with negative 7 times this quantity squared, but we now know what this binomial squared equals, right? It equals this 9x squared minus 12x plus 4. And now we can go ahead and distribute and continue. So negative 8 times negative 3x is positive 24x. And here we have negative 8 times positive 2 is minus 16. And then minus 9. All right, let's go ahead now and distribute this negative 7 through to the trinomial here. Again, we're just cleaning this up. We're cleaning this first line up. All right, so negative 7 times 9x gives us negative 63x squared. Negative 7 times negative 12x gives us a positive 84x. Negative 7 times positive 4 is negative 28. And then we go ahead and rewrite these last three terms. So plus 24x minus 16 minus 9. All right, let's go ahead, clean this up. That's still what we're doing. Let's combine like terms. So we have a negative 63x squared, and I don't see any other x squared. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that term down and I like to cancel or cross out a term after I've used it so I don't accidentally use it again. And if we move on to our terms with x's, we have a positive 84x and a positive 24, so that's going to give us a plus 108x. And again, cross them out, we've used them. And then the last three terms are all like terms that we can combine. So negative 28 minus 16 minus 9 gives us a negative 53. All right, so there we have it. We have now just composed g of f. 
That's negative 63x squared plus 108x minus 53. But we're not quite done because now what they want us to do is evaluate this composite function at the value 9. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this expression here, these three terms, and plug in a 9 anywhere we see an x and then evaluate. All right, so let's skip down a little bit. So we end with negative 63, take out the x, put in a 9 squared plus 108. Again, take out the x, put in 9 minus 53. And um, that's a little, it's, well, we can evaluate this here, right? This is negative 63, and we know 9 squared is 81. And then plus 108 times 9 minus 53. And this is a little above my mental math skill, so I'm going to go ahead and we'll pull up our calculator, and we'll see what we get. All right. So we have negative 63 times 81 plus 109. Oh, 108. I caught myself. So let me fix that real quick here. So this is 108. All right, so 108 times 9 minus 53, and we get negative 4,184. So equals negative 4,184. And there we have it. So first thing we did is we took the f function, plugged it into the g function. That's what this is right here. So this is what is referred to as g of f of x, but they didn't want us to find g of f of x, they wanted us to find g of f of 9. So once we found g of f, then we took this expression, plugged in the value 9 anywhere we saw an x. So in these two places, we evaluated and we ended at negative 4,184.